Hello, my name is Amita and I'm a first year medical student at Plovdiv Medical University. In this video, I will be talking about the structure of the course. So, the first two years that you do study medicine here are pretty much theoretical. So there are no patient contacts, however you learn all of the anatomy, theoretical parts, and you learn other subjects such as biology, chemistry, and physics. From third year onwards to fifth year, you start your clinical years. So you'll be meeting patients, going to the local hospitals, more, learning more about the clinical side of medicine. In sixth year is the internship year. So where you do one whole year of working as a medic in Bulgaria. In third year, as I said, we do start meeting patients here in Bulgaria, which basically means we need to start speaking in Bulgarian to them too. However, we are prepared with this by having Bulgarian lessons in both first year and second year. Also, if we do have further difficulties, we are given the option of a translator as well, which is really helpful. However, there should be no problems in speaking to the patients here. During first year, I think the most difficult subject for me was anatomy. It's completely different to what I'd learn at school and something I really wasn't prepared for. Also in anatomy, there is a lot of theoretical content, which is a lot, especially because we start neuroanatomy in first year itself. It was very difficult because I didn't know what information I needed to know and what information was too much depth. However, the university do provide a a photographic atlas, as well as books that are relevant for our course. For example, there is Van Gogh's Central Nervous System book, which is very useful in terms of learning about neuroanatomy. In terms of anatomy, we do have colloquiums and we do have final exams. And it's important that you do do well in your colloquiums so that it's easier for you when it comes to the real test. Now, in terms of colloquiums, they consist of pins that are placed on the structures as well as an MCQ section as well. For the pinning part and the practical part of the exam, at the beginning I did find this really difficult because I didn't know what could be pinned, how the structures will be pinned and things like that. However, having the photographic atlas was really helpful as it shows the structures that you need to know and the names of them as well. There are some students who prefer to learn the structures in Latin and some that prefer it to do it in English. However, both are present in this book. The subject that I found the most enjoyable this year was Latin. It was something that was very different and it was something that linked a lot of topics together for me. For example, you learn the reason that structures have their names due to Latin. For example, the amygdala, which is a brain structure. You might be wondering, why is it called amygdala? Well, in Latin, amygdala means almond and it resembles an almond shape. So therefore, we're bridging a lot of the topics together using Latin. It is also a subject that keeps your mind off of the fact that you are learning a lot of strenuous topics as well. So I found this the most enjoyable. I have found first year very enjoyable. However, it has become difficult in some aspects. For example, before I came to Bulgaria, I was living with my parents, I wasn't able to cook, I really didn't have to clean up after myself either. However, coming here, I had to quickly learn these things. Luckily, my mum was able to be here for a few days and just see how I adjusted, so that was very helpful. First year is very demanding in the sense that you learn how to do things very quickly. However, it is also demanding because you need to keep on, co on top of all your work as well. In terms of the content, it is manageable and definitely achievable, and I'm sure you will all do well. During my free time in Bulgaria, I like to spend it with my friends. For example, going to the mall, going to different restaurants, and going to the centre as well. So the centre in Plovdiv is about 20 minutes by walk, or maybe 5 to 10 minutes by a taxi. So very quick. By taxi, it probably costs six levs, which is about three euros. There are many different activities to do here in Bulgaria, from going bowling, going to the cinema, going to the gym, or even just going and admiring the scenery around you. For example, climbing the hills, taking pictures with a beautiful sunset, 
and many other activities to do here too. There isn't much free time available being a medical student anywhere you are. However, it is important that you're able to manage your time properly. So making sure that you do take breaks in between when you're studying. There are lots of national holidays here in Bulgaria as well. So this way you're able to get involved in cultural events, able to see the cultural aspect of Bulgaria and even perhaps have a long weekend and go back home and see your family and friends. The winter holidays can vary from two to six weeks long. It depends whether you have chemistry first semester or second semester. If you do have chemistry first semester, this means you do have a shorter winter break. However, this means that you do have a lot more time to revise for your other exams in June. The summer holidays typically starts around the first week of July and all the way to the second week of September. Of course, this does depend on whether you have any resets or retakes. Now I will talk about the financial aspect of studying in Plovdiv Medical University. So, there are two semesters here, semester one and semester two. Semester one being the winter and semester two being the summer semester. The yearly tuition fees here in Plovdiv is 8,000 euros. So it's 4,000 euros per semester. One thing about coming to Bulgaria that you should know is that it has its own currency, known as a leva. Now I will talk about financing and my apartment. So my apartment is a little pricier and costs 380 euros a month, which is approximately 750 leva. The maintenance fee is a fee that is paid depending on your apartment complex. If you have a larger apartment complex, most of the time it's slightly more, and if you have a smaller one, it's slightly less. So my maintenance fee is six euros a month, which is around 12 levs. Water bills here in Plovdiv are generally cheap. So for me, they have cost from one to three euros, which is around two to six levs. Electricity here is again, relatively cheap as well. So they can range from 10 euros to 25 euros. Of course, during the winter when it does get cold, you may use the heater setting on the air conditioning. So the maximum that I have heard this be is 70 euros. Of course, water and electricity depends on how much you use a month. TV and Wi-Fi is something I would also like to mention. So the Wi-Fi here in Bulgaria is very quick and I didn't expect it to be so. So for me, my TV and Wi-Fi together cost 11 euros, which is around 22 lebs. Cinema tickets here cost around five euros and going out for a meal, it costs around three to seven euros. Of course, this depends on the restaurant that you go to as well. A lot of the people here tend to walk around because the weather is so beautiful here in the summer. However, during the winter, it is advisable to take a taxi, especially when it snows. So taxis are pretty cheap and you're able to call them and they come in one to two minutes from when you call them. Sometimes people share their apartment with their friends. Of course, when you are sharing, the price is much cheaper. However, I would suggest if you are unsure whether you should share or whether you should live alone, I would suggest you live alone, at least just for the first year, to see how you settle in, see how you find things here. Of course, if you do meet someone and you get on really well, you can think about sharing with them too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions that you have in the comment section below.